in this how-to video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Adobe Illustrator, and then I'm going to move on to a tutorial on how to make a vector style image as well. So to start off, I have this compass here, and it's basically made of a bunch of gradients here on the outside, this gold part, and then here on the inside as well. Then I have the triangular parts, the shapes here, and then the text on the outside. I used a, a tutorial online to try and figure out this out. It was a pretty good introduction to Illustrator because I wasn't really experienced with it before and it kind of showed me all the different tools and um, all the different features of Illustrator and if you're interested in making something like this I'll leave the link for the tutorial in the description but to start off I'm gonna start with a tutorial myself for the vector style image and here I have this picture of Clint Eastwood you can have a picture of anybody that you want and I have it at 50% opacity and you can either make a new layer for it that's white and then change that to 50% or you can just make the base picture 50% opacity as well but to start off I'm gonna outline his face and to do that I'm gonna create a new layer and then I'm gonna use the pencil tool and I'm actually using a graphics tablet if you don't have one or you don't like using one then you can you can just use the pencils the pencil tool and outline it with that or you can use the pen tool or any other selection tool that that is available but to start off I'm just going to start here on this new newly created layer that here and um, start outlining his face okay so here I have the outline of the face and then I added the stroke to the outside of it and uh, what you're going to want to do next after you add the stroke and everything you'll want to make that invisible here and uh, you'll want to make this you you'll just want to make the base layer visible and then you'll want to use the eyedropper tool oh actually you'll probably want to have this selected of layer and then you'll just make this layer visible so that you can get the color and then you'll use the eyedropper tool and find a good base color and then just select it and it will fill that in and then uh, here you have a good base color and then you have your selection and then the stroke to start off with and for the next part just to get a better idea of what we'll be working with I'm going to do the same thing except uh, for the hat so I'm just going to use the pencil tool again on a new layer. You can use a new layer or groups or any way that you want it to organize all your layers and everything. So I'm just going to start drawing and tracing the hat. Okay, I have the hat selected. These are pretty rough selections, but for the tutorial, I think you'll you should be able to get the idea from this. But to start off, uh, pretty much the same thing as last time. I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and fill, get a good part of the hat and then fill that in. And then I'll want the stroke as well. So I'll go back. I'll make everything visible. And so I have these base parts here. And for the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the... Um, the shading and then the highlights as well. It's pretty much the same concept except there's things with opacity to throw in there but to start off I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to draw around the highlight of the hat this time okay so here I have this selected and for this you wouldn't want the stroke you would just want it regular and then here for the highlights you'll make those white and then to get everything back you'll make everything visible and then change the opacity of the highlight to whatever fits best for the image if you're using the reference photo or whatever looks best and then the next part is the shading and once again I'm gonna add a new layer and just like before you can you don't have to have as many layers as I do but whatever works for you is best so I'm gonna move on and um, I see this shading on the, this side of the face so I'm gonna go ahead on this new layer and then draw around this okay so now I have this selected 
Uh, you don't have to worry about getting everything precise because if you have like the beard here to cover that up or the ear, you can always move the layers around and make everything work out. But for this, again, you wouldn't want the stroke. And for this fill, what I do is I go, I turn everything on, or you really just need the face layer and uh, use the eyedropper tool and then get that the base color of the face to fill the shading part and then go to the fill and then make that just a little bit darker and then change the opacity down and then take off the stroke okay so here I have a pretty basic idea of what you'll be doing uh, you can rearrange the layers to make everything work out like I would want the hat up here above the shading and everything but whatever works out best but once you get everything aligned and everything the way that you want it uh, you might end up with something like this depending on how detailed you get will uh, change the result you can always zoom in and get more precise when you're tracing around everything but I think this is pretty much the base idea of it and if you're interested I did use a tutorial for this and if you want to check that out, I will leave the link for it in the description below. But otherwise, um, I hope you learned something from this, and thanks for watching.